Welcome to Chapter 4 of Cat's Spooky Chats. Today's spooky chat is going to be about an old evil entity that sneaks into homes during the wee hours of the night. This creature likes to sneak into your bedroom and hover over your body, or it sits on your chest to drain your energy like a vampire drain its victim's blood. Now this evil entity, it may even be the reason you wake up tired, exhausted, or feeling unwell in the morning. Not sure what evil entity I'm referring to? I'm referring to none other than the Hank, or Hank, depending on how you say it. The Haint is an old evil entity, and it's known within Southern tradition. Now, it's very easy for a Haint to slip into your bedroom during the night, and if the Haint slips into your bedroom, or if you have one, then you will know how to get rid of it by the end of today's chat. So, with that being said, let's chat. A haint, or hank, is said to be an evil ghost or spirit within Southern tradition. Now, the tale of the haint is said to have derived from Gullah Geechee people who were descendants of African slaves. And the first recorded record of the haint is said to possibly date all the way back to 1843. Now, haints are said to be evil, restless spirits of the dead who have not moved on. And no one knows why the haint spirits are trapped in the world of the living. But this may be the very reason they're so evil and restless. Now, some say a haint is a spirit traveling outside its skin and it must get back in before sunrise. A haint is said to like to stalk its victims before creeping into their home at night. And a haint can enter a home through a window, a door, a keyhole, or even the tiniest crack in the wall. Now, it's unclear how a haint chooses a victim to stalk or take. But some believe if a haint takes a child, the child misbehaves or is unruly. you believe you're being stalked by a haint, or if you're actually being stalked by a haint, you may think you see something out of the corner of your eye, but nothing is there. You may hear unusual noises that no one else hears. You may wake up tired and exhausted after a full night's rest. You may even become ill with something that no one can explain or you may disappear altogether. Now no one knows where a haint takes its victims or what it does with them. Now some people say a haint drains its victim's soul from the body before devouring the flesh. And some say they drag their victims into their own graves. And some others say that they trade their victim soul for their own so that they can finally move on. I mean, no one knows what a hate does with its victims because the victim of a hate has never returned to tell the story. Now let's discuss how to protect yourself from hates and how to get rid of a hate if you have one. Haint Blue. Now, according to Gullah Geechee culture, Haint Blue is a color that wards off evil spirits and witches. The Gullah people believe that Haints cannot cross over water. So they painted their porches, their windows, their shutters, their window sills, and their doors this color. And they did this to confuse the Haints 
and prevent them from entering. Now, this practice is still common in the South today. It's so common that the paint company, Sherwin-Williams, they talk about the Hank Spirit as advertisement for that Hank Blue color on their website. And if you haven't already used the Hank Blue around your home, you may want to do the following to distract the Hank or get rid of it because one may already be inside your home. Distracting the Hank. Hanks can be distracted with repetitive tasks, such as reading or counting. One can paste newspaper to the wall, pretty much like wallpaper, and this would distract the Hank from doing evil deeds because the Hank will be drawn there to read every letter and every word. And this will keep the Hank occupied until morning. And remember... Hanks must leave before sunrise. Now, Hank can be distracted with a bowl of rice or sand also. The Hank will be forced to count every single grain. Straw brooms or brushes with many bristles. They can also be used to distract the Hank because the Hank must count every straw or every bristle. Now, the hand is said to get frustrated when counting, so it repeatedly starts over again and again. The bottle tree. Bottle trees are said to have originated from Africa. And they're said to have migrated to the U.S. with enslaved Africans. And they're said to be used to catch haints or wandering spirits during the night. And the captured haints of spirits, they're destroyed at sunrise. Cleansing your home. Now it's said that if you have a haint, there are ways that you can cleanse your home of the haint. Now you want to begin by burning incense or sage in every room of the home. And after burning sage or incense... The floors of the home must be mopped with pine or camphor. And then salt must be then sprinkled in the corners of the home and across the doors and windows. All must be done to cleanse the home of a hate. Now, if you wake up feeling exhausted after what should have been a good night's rest, if you begin to think you see something but nothing is actually there, If you suddenly come down with an unexplainable illness, you may have your very own hate. And you may want to rewind this video and take notes. And with that being said, this is the end of today's spooky chat. But beware, because there's much more to come. Please like the video. Please Share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you would like to support the channel, the information to support will be in the description of the video. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.